delighted to bring you uh, some pretty good news. We have now won the Nevada caucus. We can't go up against him with someone who's going to be a moderate, who's not going to get people excited. We need someone who's going to offer a different way forward. What I like about Bernie is that he's really consistent. If you look back at videos of him back then, like, you know, 30 years ago, he's still saying the same things. In Nevada, we have just put together a multi-generational, multi-racial coalition which is going to not only win in Nevada, it's going to sweep this country. Thank you so much. On to South Carolina, on to the nomination, and on to the White House with your help. Thank you. I congratulate my competitors on a vigorous campaign here in Nevada. And I congratulate Senator Sanders on a strong showing today, knowing that we celebrate many of the same ideals. But before we rush to nominate Senator Sanders in our one shot to take on this president, let us take a sober look at what is at stake for our party, for our values, and for those with the most to lose. There is so much on the line. And one thing we know for sure is that we absolutely must defeat Donald Trump and everything that he represents in November. We have exceeded expectations. Um, I always note that a lot of people uh, didn't even think that I would still be standing at this point. I got a word tonight for Nevada. Thank you for keeping me in the fight. <laughs> The race has been called. Bernie has won. Congratulations, Bernie. Come on. But I want to tell you something else that's going on. Since Wednesday night, our support has been growing everywhere. Since, since I stepped on that stage, a, a quarter of a million people have gone to elizabethwarren.com and pitched in their 25 bucks. In three days, people have contributed $9 million to this campaign. Now we're going on to South Carolina.